Hi, Dave. Lance. Hey, how's it Dave. going, Dave? You all right? You nearly, you nearly started without me. Nearly, yeah. I called yeah. you twice. You're a busy man. Ben, you stop clenching your fists. <laughs> ben, oh my God, stop I getting angry. It. It's an stop automatic clenching reaction. Your fists, <laughs> right? Stop it. Can we have... Guys, yeah. drinks? Um, yes, please. Oh, yeah. I, I what look about, uh, for Dr. Pepper. Rashers. Rashers yeah. on toast? Yeah. Oh, on lovely, toast. yeah, yeah. Can I have rashers on pig? Ra- like, still an alive one. Mm. Is that well, pig, yeah, pig in blanket? That's just a yeah. living pig in a blanket. What, yeah. What about rashes in woolen blankets? Is that rashes in woolen blankets on pigs? On pigs, yeah. And yeah. Are you in there? Um, you know, I'll just have a portobello mushroom, please. A bit Come of salt in. and pepper on it. Just a single, right unchopped. Right. Yep. Yeah. Uncooked, raw portobello mushroom. Thank you very Thanks, much, Dave. Dave. Thank it's you, Dave. Pleasure, At Dave on Twitter. At Dave. At Dave on Twitter. Please Cheers, Dave. do follow Thanks, him. Dave. Bye, Dave. Oh, Dave. 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 Oh. There you go. I miss. I miss you, man. You don't, you fucking hate Put your me, fist ben. down. What are you right. doing? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. It's threatening me I gotta when put... the mic's off. It's lucky oh, this isn't a video oh, podcast, otherwise we'd be getting banned right this, now. There's so much slander right now. Jesus. Get out of here. Bye, Dave. Man, I love that guy's voice. Ah, oh, it's so soothing. It's yeah. wonderful. I hate that dude. What an accent. What a dick. <laughs> Why does he carry the multi tool everywhere with him? Because you never know when you're going to need to shank a motherfucker. Yeah, you leave it in my sight. I'm going to whip it out. It's it's more more responsible for you to have it than me to have it. I'm going to put it over here. Yeah. Right. Wix, it's got your brains on it. Oh, my God. Well, it will do if you try any funny business again. Wix. 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 You're taking a piss. Wix. Wix. I don't give a monkey's. Wix, I'll fuck you up. Wix. Wix. Go on then. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> shit. Come on, Wix. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a good way to air start the podcast. <laughs> Why did neither of us have a catchphrase after that? <laughs> yeah. the it, was just, it was just a Wix, Wix Mexican Wix, standoff. Wix, or Wixican you can Wix the most. Uh, fuck. Wixing, fuck you. Wixing Wix. lyrical. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you, uh, might, you might notice something a little bit different about today's podcast if you're watching on the YouTubes. Oh, oh, oh my. Whoa, Jesus. What magical land is this? Why is my mouth moving uh, like that? Uh, oh, After Effects oh. is going to love doing that. Just uh, just a quick aside to those of you who can't see what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a whole set now. Yeah, uh, look at the this. YouTube video is infinitely more interactive. Now, we love this very much, yeah. but its longevity is entirely dependent on whether or not we can find the recorder that we normally use because yeah. sometimes the recorder mm. that lets us record three inputs at the same time is missing and we have to use workarounds yeah. um, and and those workarounds don't let us use this amazing animated... But today we have the right recorder. Background. We're recording separate channels and mm-hmm. look at the magic that happens as a result. Ah. It's All incredible. thanks to Nico Velik. Thanks, Wicks. Nico. Wicks. Nico Velik, off of GTA. Wait, that's, is that his name? I just said that off the top of my head. I don't know if that's his actual Nico, name. Nico Velik. Something, something like, yeah. Hello, Velik. Raman, my cousin. Yeah. Let's go bowling. Do you want to go bowling? Yeah. Hey, cousin. Yeah. Nico Velik. Velik. I, a slight difference there. Yeah. But uh, at what up Nico on Twitter. He's a done guy. a brilliant job He's, he's, a, he's a magician, he's a real a magician. Yeah. It's very, very incredible, so thank you for that. Welcome, everybody, to Poddy. It's episode four. Jesus Christ. Is it four? It is episode four. I think... Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Evelyn. Episode whatever's written um, on the track. There's this. Some, doing, oh, a doing a Dharma. Yeah. Uh, doing something about pigeons. pigeons. And then uh, this one. And then this one, episode four. Sure. The title of which is going to be. This one. Wicks. This one. Wicks. Episode four. Wix. 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 Come on, Wicks. then. You, you want some? Come on, then. Wix. Please Fuck stop. Wicks. Please. You got no fans. Wiki, wiki, wild Wix. <laughs> got no ground. <laughs> Thank you to Turtle Beach for sponsoring mm. this mm. podcast. I'm sure they're, they're really thrilled about that ears. decision. Bit.ly forward slash Vidiot's Beach if you want to buy the same amazing headsets that we're wearing right now. They're good. <gasps> they're darn us. good. It's delicious. Got those bass frequencies, 20 hertz, 21 hertz, 19 hertz, mm. all the way up to your big old 2000s. And you can wear them, do them for, all. for two hours. Love hurts. And it won't hurt. Uh, everything hurts. <laughs> Baby, yeah. don't hurt me. No it hurts more. when I pee. Yeah. All the hurts. Yeah. Tuttle Beach can offer you that. Yeah. And we're, we're very <laughs> But the good proud hurts, to be not bad hurts. With them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Also, a big thank you to our Patreons. Ooh. Thank you. Let's take this opportunity to I thank you. I think it's actually patrons. I think you're fine. Not Patreons. Come on, Ben. Even Jesus though I said Christ. Patreons last time. I'm just going to... What? No, no, Ben, don't. I'm going! Oh, uh, what? 
I'm out. No, no he's, don't. He's, he's, he's gone. He's, he's gone a out big, the window. Big thanks to our patrons. Yeah. Uh, yep. Ben's actually walked out with the information, but thank you very much to all those people who have donated a lot of money yeah, yeah. for no reward other than the warm, tingling sensation of... Uh, it's the best feeling. I, heard, I was talking to a doctor the other gym. day, and he said uh, giving money to the videos on Patreon is the best feeling. It's comparable to heroin. Yeah. So if you want to you know, feel but some high addictive. highs... Yeah, that's the, actually, some would argue more addictive, but a nice kind of addictive, because, you know, it's charity. Okay. If you're going to be addicted to something, be oh, addicted to charity. I'll oh. calm down now. Okay, okay. okay. You punched, punched a Dave. I went for a walk. Yeah, I just went and beat the shit out of Dave. You, know? <laughs> you didn't I've deserve it, Ben. Dave on Twitter. I'd also uh, like to announce, and some of you may have seen this on Twitter already, that oh, we've yeah. got a brand new addition to our Twitter family. Oh, yeah. At the, This Is Rules Boss. Hello, Rules Boss. Uh, now, Hello, I would like to, to extend a thank you to uh, my wonderful girlfriend, Becca, for coming up with the oh. idea of, of actually helping Rules Boss get onto Twitter. Because, you know, it's difficult to communicate with Rules Boss anyway, mm. uh, which I'm sure you'll all be aware of if you've watched our piece of or cake Or if you've videos. tweeted Rules Boss by now. If God. you've tweeted Rules Boss, you'll be fully aware. There's some sort of delay signal error, and uh, so communicating just to get them onto Twitter was hard enough. But they are there now at This Is Rules Boss. And uh, you can just tweet them. Yeah, anything. give them a tweet and you'll reply. Anytime the real life you have a query boss. about rules or, or bosses or, or bosses or anything like that. Video gaming in any in any sense. Cake, piece of cake. Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing your own piece of cake challenge videos. Ask them a question. Yeah, exactly. Know, yeah. If you need to know some rules, bam. You just need to tweet at the rules boss. This is rules boss. And he will get to you within minutes. You'll have a reply. That's so speedy. It yeah. is. I mean, sometimes it takes up to sort of five or six minutes for, for him to reply. But when he replies, but oh he boy, will. does he reply. I think some of the replies seem to be disappearing as well, just by themselves. Yes, I think so too. I don't really know what's getting, happening. But yeah, getting, uh, you look at a chain of a conversation and some of his some of his replies will sometimes just go. Yeah, just Twitter reining us in. We've had enough I think fun it with might the be because Rules Boss does tweet like maybe... 20 times in a second yeah. uh, every 10 minutes. There's, there's so, a, there's it sort a, of pulses, doesn't he? <laughs> it does. It's like a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. Pushing blood throughout the life. I've had a, a Twitter bot going, one of my friends made, that was, it's my Twitter account mixed with uh, romantic ebooks. Yeah. Right. And that's been going every hour for about a year and a half. I followed it very briefly yeah. and then had to unfollow it's, it. It did get a little bit much. But if you want to see <laughs> that lot. weird world, at ParrotBot. At ParrotBot. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, nice. you can just see a lot of weird, weird tweets. Yeah. So Peter and I try to communicate with Rules Boss, as mm. we do frequently, mm. but we try to communicate over Twitter just to see how it was going on. Um, here is the chain. Peter <laughs> said, hello. And Rules Boss said, hello. <laughs> and I said, yes, hello, Rules Boss. Can you help us with something? Rules Boss speaking. Hi, Rules Boss. Yeah, can you help us with something real quick? Hello? <laughs> Hel- what? Hello, can you hear me? You've reached Rules Boss. Right, yes, I know. Can you help me or not? Yes, Hello? <laughs> This is Rules Boss. I give up. Hello, Rules Boss here. <laughs> and then Peter said, let me try. Rules Boss, are you still there? Hello, you're through to Rules Boss. About time. We're trying to plan another piece of cake right now, and we wondered if you might offer some assistance with some of the finer... H- Hello? Hello? Yes, he- hello, this is Rules Boss. <laughs> At which point we gave up. It's yeah. so lifelike. It's amazing. Rules Boss persisted. Hello? <laughs> hello? Yes, hello? This, this is after he- I'd hung up. Oh, hello. wow. This is Rules Boss here. Still going. It's and a bit of a delay and, in the and you too can have a conversation like that with Rules Boss. Rules at Boss. This wow. is Rules Bot. This no, is Rules Boss. Boss. At This is Rules Boss. But it is a bot. It the entertainment bot. we provide for free is out of this world. Yeah, I mean, you're never going to get yeah. that kind of stuff anywhere else, it's are you? It's free. I had yeah. a lot of fun with Rules Boss this It was morning. actually quite fun. <laughs> it was a good yeah. few hours. It's great. People asking him uh, Netflix recommendations, <laughs> and he'd just reply, hello, yes, this is Rules hello. Boss. Hello. <laughs> uh, which is just, it's so realistic. It yeah. lends itself perfectly the to this The delay kind of on the, the bot actually processing the tweets as well just, just, just <laughs> plays right like into the actual into phone call yes. lag. Hello. Oh. Maybe one Hello? day he'll develop some kind of sentience and start oh, actually recommending Netflix films for people. Jesus. That would be incredible. That'll all be about something to do with bosses or like <laughs> yeah. boss, baby boss Baby. Boss Baby, yeah. Rules Boss Baby and yeah. other things like that. Now, if you're not familiar with the podcast, this is basically how it works. It's uh, an hour or so of waffle. Um, we've got some questions from you guys. But oh. then we also have... I'm not talking to you two. Like, oh. I'm just speaking generally. Right. From you guys out there. Yeah. And then each of us brings a thing along to talk about the three the three Ers. A's the three <laughs> yes. Poddy Erts a thing <laughs> along to talk about who ah. would like to uh, go first 
Who'd like to bring their uh, thing first to the uh, table? Mighty's looking smug. I, I'm just I'm just a smiley boy. I'm just having a little smile. I guess I'll go first then. Yeah, yeah, go my it. smugness dictates I go first. What have you brought, Mikey? Um, once again, I'm on the topic of not really having a topic. Okay, just good. Our good. first early game consoles or games. Oh. Like little games and consoles that stood out to us over our childhood. Because t- today I had a very special, special delivery. Yeah. I had a Power Player Super Joy 3 delivered, wow. which I think was my first console as a kid, which was essentially a Famicom rip-off, I guess is the best way of putting it. It's, right. it's a NES on a chip inside of an N64 controller. You plug into TV <laughs> and on there you get 76 NES games to choose Perfect. from. Nice. But obviously... With it being a rip-off product, there's got to be some kind of rip-off going on there. Mm-hmm. On the box, it says it's got about 12,000 games. Wow, it's just what? those 76 games repeated over and over again. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the London Racer intro. With all the <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and yeah, they re- repeat those 76 games. About Star a Wars times. on the box as well. Yeah, for some reason, it's got, I think, Star Wars episode... Is it the Phantom Epis- Menace? I don't know. I think there's, like, a young Obi-Wan on there. Yeah. Well, just... that came out in, like, 2000 and one or 2000. Like, yeah, Is it makes 99 sense, Star Wars episode one? Maybe it was 99. It was about 2000 ish. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a a very unlicensed and probably very (laughs) illegal uh, Star Wars image on the box. But yeah, I think that was um, my first console, at least, Mm. because before then I was a PC boy. Still, I'm a PC boy to this day. Right. And I think there's probably games before it, but Half Life 1 was like my big entrance into gaming. Yeah. And when I say my entrance into gaming, I mean watching my dad play the game mm-hmm. while I pressed the reload button for him because I was very oh. scared of the game. Oh. That was nice, nice though. You, you were like, helping out. Exactly. Yeah, I was doing my best. I'd point out enemies on the screen. I'm sure I was probably just a huge distraction to things, but in my head, I was having fun and helping. Oh, yeah. I used to do that. Yeah. I, I've got an uncle who uh, was is a big, game, big gamer, still is, actually. Mm. Uh, was and is. And he had... I think the earliest memory I have is when he had his PS1. I think he had, like, Sega stuff beforehand, but I would do a lot of just sitting at age four or five even, like, as early as then, yeah. just watching him play and then pointing out things. like. And I think I probably was exposed to some pretty horrible things at pretty mm, early no, age. That's all right. It made Silent you the man you are today, Peter. You turned out fine. Resident Evil. The well-adjusted, <gasps> not sarcastic. I yeah. Ch- I tried to play Resident Evil as a kid. I d- couldn't get past the first level. Resident Evil mm. is fucking horrifying. Yeah, Resi we, 2 fucked me up. Yeah, you've, yeah. Got, you've got stories with Resi 2, haven't you? Oh, um, yeah. We played uh, Duke Nukem Time to Kill. That nice. was when I first sort of started playing with him on console yeah and that that that's like got proper kind of graphic viscera style mm. if you get did killed, that have lady chesticles on screen it also on had yeah, that yeah, yeah but that wasn't uh, that was only in the single player i don't think oh. i ever played that but if you oh. played a multiplayer thing if you died to an explosion like a bomb or a rocket you would just be a smear on gibbs the floor everywhere. and gibbs nice. everywhere yeah oh. and i was giblets. i thought it was great yeah yeah Amazing. um and then my first actual console that I old uh, I owned was also a uh, PS One. Nice, and, nice. Uh, yeah, just just playing Crash and Spyro and Tomby. A merry and... little time. Yeah. Oh, you Tomby. I think Half Life One is Tomby Two. I had oh. and and the demo for the Tomby One. Yeah. yeah. Is that what is that one that's valuable or all the Tomby? Yeah, Tomby. Well, Tomby One is now worth like. 150 quid or more did you have that as a kid uh i i played it at a friend's house pretty much all the way through Man. imagine never... like accidentally binning that game or selling it I and know. then realizing what it's worth now mm. tomby 2 is now worth i think i think at least 50 quid and i oh, do yeah. own to- uh, tomby 2 <gasps> still so if so, anyone yeah. wants to rob peter that's the most valuable item in his house uh well it's not the most valuable item <laughs> in my, I, I think i own something that's worth more than 50 quid it might be the most valuable game i own which okay. is quite expensive yeah, yeah. tvs yeah yeah money <laughs> do you store a lot of money in your house no I don't who has oh, cash now he sleeps on a bed of money yeah yeah. that's how he, how he stays so healthy yeah Ben tell us about Resident Evil 2 and or your early console experience yeah before I do I just want to point out how ridiculous this setup continues to get this recording setup yeah. Yeah. I'm peering at Michael <laughs> yes. over you look the top like a ninja. of a pop shield actually I'm going to get my phone out a small wire and then between a mic stand, and that's all I can see of Michael. Peter, I can only see a vague outline of his eyes through his pop shield, and then his hair over the top, and he looks like some sort of emoji. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to do. I'm going to record a video which we can slot into the podcast. We'll put it in the uh, the yeah. link dump. So sorry if you're watching on a your, your podcast device of choice. But yeah, head okay. to YouTube's where it's at today. Forward slash video. It's official. So, so, here we we go. Go. so this is my microphone. It's got a little pop shield on it. There's Peter. 
And uh, there's Ben hiding behind his claw arm. There's just a Completely. lot going on, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. It's just a lot happening. Oh, I'm right recording for it. That's a sin. There we go. That's better. Oh, God. And then this is our actually mess of cables on the air table. Mm-hmm. The table cables. The mess of table cables. Mm. Where we've got a little zoom, which outputs into our headphone splitter so we can all hear everything. Hooray. And that's the end. If you want these. Oh, oh my God. That's his phone. If you want the headphones I've... that were visible in that video, head to bit.ly forward slash video speech. Yeah. yeah. Which we're all definitely wearing them. <laughs> hey, sometimes we can't afford to have them all plugged in at the same time because they're so valuable that the oh, insurance yeah. doesn't cover the cost of it. Oh. So we yeah. can't have more than, you know, one They're under lock and key most of the day. Exactly. They're, yeah. very, they're very valuable. Uh, in terms of what, you know, your thing, but the, but my answer... Whoa. Um, <laughs> Uh, Game Boy Color was really where I properly started Ah, playing games, and then I got PS1. But my cousin was always a big gamer. He had a Mega Drive and an N64, and um, he had a chipped PS1. And I went to his house once when he wasn't there, and I tried to play Resident Evil 2. Couldn't work out any of the controls, and then was brutally ripped apart by zombies, and that fucked me up for ages. Uh, My dad used to play PC games occasionally, like... um, Star Wars Dark Forces, Ooh. Hmm. Uh, the precursor to, is it KOTOR? Uh, it's got the same guy in it, and then um, uh, Rogue One completely retconned all of that it's story. It's not part of KOTOR, it's part of it's uh, Jedi Jedi Knight, the Jedi Knight games, uh, Jedi okay. Academy, Jedi Outcast, Kyle Katarn. Right, yes. But yeah, him. he stole the Death Star plans, didn't he, Kyle Katarn? He did, and then they completely over overwrite overwrote overwrit overwrote overwrote <laughs> his progress yeah. on the memory card mm. uh, big old George Lucas Mickey Mouse mistake there. yeah uh, but when you used to fall off high objects <laughs> for God's sake in I that know game this. yeah <laughs> <laughs> it would it would play a sound effect that sounded like a big scary alien it was oh. supposed to be him screaming right? yeah <laughs> which I now realise yeah. yeah it was a bit like that yeah. It was a bit, like that it was very weird and it wasn't like any of the other sounds in the game it's unearthly my, my cousin and I thought well if there's a monster that's killing us every time we fall off a ledge mm. then surely we can shoot that monster oh, and then you'll survive and we'll survive exactly if we can kill the monster before it kills us and that's how that works so for about a day we were leaping <coughs> oh, off my God. sort of the sides of this map and just spinning round and shooting, shooting everything in the hope that we could catch this alien that was making the horrible noise <laughs> and then killing us. But we never could. Did you get it? No. Get in the end, it turns yeah. out you were the alien. I was Isn't the alien all along. You were the real monster. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then I had an existential crisis and I was in an asylum for 12 years. Yeah, he's oh. not joking either. It's very serious. And I came here today from that asylum. Yeah. To it's talk a special to day off. Yes. Yeah, he gets let out for recording sessions and That's right it. back in he goes. Still in cuffs. We don't. It's not safe to have him unshackled. But yeah, yeah, it's true. But that's it. That's it for me. That's what yeah. I got. I think good. In terms of games from my childhood just ruining me, Half Life mm. again. There was a section of that game where you get plunged into some dark, murky water, mm-hmm. and that's fine. You know, I'm fine with swimming around in water. But then an underwater creature came swimming towards you out of the darkness, <sighs> and that fucked me up. And then to this day, I still don't like murky water in video game, video games or real life. I can't do it. If I ever go like find like an underwater section, I have to put on God mode. Like oh, it really? really fucks me up. Like I've I've been replaying Half Life One over the last few weeks, and I've finished it the other night. And still to this day, I can't play the underwater sections. Oh shit! It's, oh no! That's such an effect. It's, oh, I think even my heart rate is boom, 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 right now thinking about it. I remember uh, uh, watching. My uncle played a demo for Silent Hill before it came out. Oh, and it was a clip where he steps into the diner and he's sort of looking around, there's nothing really going on. And then there's like this noise off in the distance, it's like, uh. he's like, holy shit. And he turns around and he goes, oh, it's just the damn radio. And then uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. You know, and your heart, heart rate is going back to normal. And then suddenly, fucking pterodactyl smashes oh, through God. the window. And what? then it, it did like a freeze frame. And that was. Oh, oh there's, there's one now. Oh, is that, is that who ter- is that? Is I don't that know. Oh, I wonder if our mouths are going to move in response to that. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. Just like a slight grumble. Yeah. So one of the it wasn't actually pterodactyl, but it was like the, the yeah. pink flying Weird. purpley wingy things yeah, smashed horrible. through the window, and that was it. And then it like freeze frame, and then it's like by Silent Hill. In, nope, in nope, not like that. <laughs> and uh, that that horrified me. No, Silent Hill is just beyond terrifying the yeah. first two especially I remember my brother when he first got his PS2 he visited from London brought it up set it up and we started playing Sand Hill 2 about 11 o'clock at night uh-huh. and I was a little child and yeah. it was well past my bedtime little Mikey yeah mm. and, I, and 
Dear Lord, little mighty. And I was sat watching Silent Hill 2 unfold on the screen. I was like, Jesus Christ, this oh, is too scary. Yeah. And then my mum came in and said, oh, why couldn't you spend your money on something a bit more educational, Colin? <laughs> Fuck like, sake, Fuck Colin. Yeah, Jesus, Colin. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why couldn't you have spent your money on something a bit more educational, Colin? <laughs> because he's a grown-ass man. He can buy whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> man. Sake, then he put on a bit of Metal Gear Solid 2 and had fun uh, running around on the uh, the decks where he could slip on bird poo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit shoot of fun with the, That's educational. The Don't yeah. run on the decks. There you go. Colin. Yeah. Colin. Ben. Colin. <laughs> Colin. Um, the zombie missions from Time Split is always fun. <sighs> oh. Those uh, yeah. those were very spooky. Mansion of Time Madness. Splitters 2 and Future Perfect as yeah. well, to a lesser extent. Mm. But that was still, I think it covered scarier themes than Time Splitters 2 did. But because Time Splitters 2 didn't have any sort of voice acting, really. Yeah, it, it was, was a bit, bit uncanny. More, yeah. It was, yeah, it was a bit more sinister because mm. there was no explanation for anything that was happening. Yeah. I, re- I remember getting my uh, original Xbox, the Xbox One, not the new Xbox One, the original yes. big fat Xbox. Yeah. I got a Time Splitters game for that. And I think like one of the first or second levels of the story mode on that takes you to Notre Dame and you're inside yeah, one of the cathedrals. Yeah. And it just is like... <sighs> Jacques de la Moor. Yeah, Ain't and it. I literally never touched that game again. Such I just, a shame. I just, I just packed it in. It's like, nope, can't. This is too scary. I remember playing um, Condemned Criminal Origins. Ooh, mm. That's a scary game. Uh, I, I don't really know how old I was, like sort of early teens. Yeah. So not quite prepared for proper like junky, yeah, weird, like, dingy, like seven drug style. dens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Horrifying. Was, yeah. So there we go. Roll. That was that was our early PS One memories. <laughs> slash horror condemned memories. criminal yeah, getting origins. scared by video games for life. Yeah. All smashed into one. Thank you, Michael. That's Thank you, right. Mikey right. and Colin and <laughs> Colin. Colin. Hey, what's he like? To buy something educational. Yeah. Let's have some questions, shall we? Let's. Oh. First one comes from Ben Noonan at Noonan. Just Ben Noonan yeah. on Twitter. Hello, Ben. With the amount of tat you get in weekly, how long do you think it will be before you are consumed by tat? About two weeks ago. Yeah. Are the other guys in the Yogscast <laughs> office also jealous? Jealous of the tat. I think the other guys in the Yogscast office are a bit annoyed that they have to keep bringing in parcels for yeah, us. Yeah, it's possible. I feel a little bit guilty now every time Daft comes in with like a 12 stack of like mm-hmm. Amazon. Oh, this is all for you guys. Envelopes. We're like, oh, oh no. Thanks. We, Thanks, we do give them chocolates and sweets though oh yeah yeah, yeah. So we can keep them all for ourselves I think we just that about you know madness. we're staying above the water in terms of being like hey guys sorry that we're yeah. really bugging you getting all this post but every couple of weeks massive pile of american or german or canadian candy yeah some delicacies yum, yum, yum. right there mm. yeah no so everyone's benefiting from this yeah it's a symb- symbiotic symbiotic S- yeah. Sim- 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 symbiotic yeah, like relationship Pilish. yeah mm. delicious mm. i think uh I think it's we're going to reach critical mass at some point. Well, yeah. we've got new shelves a couple of weeks ago, and they're already, they're already pretty full. much full. We yeah. can kind of fangle some more stuff in, but it's already like, oh, we need more space. We'll have to just start rotating stuff yeah. uh, or or getting rid of some stuff and give it to charity, charity shop or yeah. something. It's more the regularity yeah. uh, <laughs> yes. with which we're yeah. having to do them and the length of the episodes as well. We thought it would have died down by now. And we'd yeah, be getting, it's like, only a been getting the week, stronger. <laughs> God, it's amazing, yeah. and we're very grateful. Oh, it's amazing. So grateful. Thank you all. But we've we're two weeks ahead currently. We've got this week's one done, yeah. and next week's one done, mm. and after we recorded the one that's going out next week, which we recorded last week. Oh, stop! <laughs> there were there were three small parcels that ar- had arrived that day in the corner of the room, and now we've got a massive stack again. We've yeah. got another you know video's worth of tap there. Yeah, it's, and it's oh. crazy. You guys are very generous. You're very very generous. And for some reason, you're still sticking with the show. Like, I've watched channels before that have, like, a male opening show. Yeah. And you just see the views go on a downward, linear, you know, slow, but surely oh, downwards. Oh, yeah, it's going down. Yeah. yeah. But for us, it We're seems to it be, like, consistent. yeah, you guys love it. To be honest, like, that's one of my favorite kind of videos is male opening. I don't know why. It's just so lethargic to watch people, like, open stuff. Hey, look at this. This yeah. is nice. It's, it's really enjoyable to watch, but... yeah. Well, I've never been on the receiving end of said tat. People mm. people like sending the tat. People like watching the tat. We yeah. love opening the tat. We do. The can, Oxcast can, can hates I, can I just, bringing us Can I tat. just say, I have about 30 Hot Wheels now. You can stop. <laughs> yeah, stop with the Hot <laughs> Wheels. We've got, we've got so many wheels. Hot Wheels now. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's Thank you. They're appreciated. You but did I've calmed fall down. over one. Yeah. Like, yeah like they're getting quite dangerous. Parent. Did you? Did you step on well, one? Well, yeah, there's one on the floor. I didn't see it. Like Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah. So it's at this point it is a health hazard. So God. please, for the love of God, nearly went stop. through the drywall. <laughs> yeah, which would have been bad. Next question is from Fede Crouch, I believe, mm. who's asking. Is that a Harry Potter character? Fede Possibly. Crouch. 
What is the rules boss's nationality? Oh, that's... I don't think anyone knows. No. Not really sure. I think no. they're currently living in Belgium, right? But we could... Um, with the, uh, the Schengen Agreement, they could have arrived there from anywhere, I think. <laughs> Do you want to give them a ring, Peter? Uh, I can have a go. Hang on. Let me Rose just... Um, yeah. Sorry, bear with me. It's a long number. It is a long number. Really it's got long. a huge dial It's got a really tone, weird dial it? tone as well. His Twitter says he's somewhere in Belgium. Right. But I don't know if he was just passing through. Yeah, or if I he don't just think that's his permanent one. residence. I think yeah. that's just a place he is right now. He's oh. got four... He's got five languages in his... Um, Damn. In his uh, bio, though. He's a man of the world. Which, again, might just be a transmission error, really. Yeah, possibly. Um, okay, here we go. You calling him? I'm calling Oh, that's a... It's a fun dial turn, isn't it? What? Hello? Hello, is that the rules boss? Hello, yes, this is rules boss. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello, rules Hello, boss. This... Hello? Hello, this is rules no, boss. No, sh- hang on. Hello. Can you hear me? You... Is that rules boss? Hello? I think he might... Is he all right? Hello, yes, this is rules boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just wanted to know whereabouts you live. Hello? What? Hello, what country do you come from? Hello, what country do you come from? Well, like a Kit Kat Crunchy. No, <laughs> no, no. Sorry, no, 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 a, I think there's a bit of a bad hello, line. Yeah, do you want to um, like stand up at your phone in the air a bit? I think there's a bad line. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. What what country? Hello. Yes, this is Rosebud. Is your bad line in North Carolina? North Carolina. Hello, you're American. Are you from North Carolina? The ocean line. Hello. No, oh, this isn't he working, thought I said it? Carolina. I was, I said bad Full line. Hello, yeah. he's not from North Carolina. Hello, mm, no, I don't, I don't. We'll have to. No, this isn't worth it. Hello, yes, this we'll, is Rose. Ring it next no, time we'll on the tweet dark him. side. We'll tweet him the, later. There we go. Oh, Jesus. God, he's hard work, isn't he? Yeah. He is really tricky. Well, you can tweet him if you like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to see if you can get a bit more sense out of him. It is, uh, it's a challenge. It's an uphill mm. struggle, but it's a one day we'll get there. Right. Who'd like to go next? I'll go next. Go on. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm not prepared. Oh, okay. Jesus, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go next. Can I'm you... ready. I'm, not, I'm ready. not ready. Okay. Um, gentlemen. Yes. Welcome back to Peter's Weird Corner. Oh, oh it's good to be back you in the corner. You've been for another haircut? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have you been dealing with more minorities, Peter? Is that what <laughs> oh, this God. is? Uh, is this the minority report? Is minority <laughs> report, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, no. Absolutely okay. not. Yes. Something completely different. Uh, and now time for something completely Who different. would like to ride the euthanasia coaster? Oh, no. Oh, absolutely. Strap me right in. Ho, ho. Off we go. The euthanasia <laughs> coaster is a theoretical steel roller coaster designed to kill its passengers. Oh, sick. Sick. It sick. is pretty sick. Yeah. Disgusting. Is it also that called boy? the final destination? Oh, it should be. In 2010, a scale model was built by... <laughs> Julianus Urbonus. <laughs> That's actually his name. Julianus Urbonus. Oh, is that Leona Lewis's some sort of relative? Leona Lewis Abuith. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Julianus Urbonus is a PhD candidate at the Royal College of Art in in London. Oh. Or, oh. or he was at the time. What nationality? Do you reckon they know rules boss? Uh, probably, yeah. Julianus uh, rules bonus. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, Urbonus, who had worked at an amusement park, stated that the goal of his concept roller coaster is to take lives, quote, with elegance and euphoria. As for practical <laughs> applications of design, he mentioned euthanasia or execution. Oh, now, wow. John Allen, who served as president of the Philadelphia Toboggan Company. <laughs> okay. Who, you know. You're losing me here. Mr. Toboggan. Right? He, uh,. He inspired Urbonus with his description of the ultimate roller coaster as one that sends out 24 people and they all come back dead. Wow, oh, that yes, does the sound like a great ride. idea, yeah. isn't it? So would you like to know how the coaster goes? I guess if, you, yes. if no one ever survives a roller coaster, you can't get a single bad review. Yeah, That's very true. Absolutely. How yeah. goes to the coaster, Peter? It ghosts like this. The concept design of the layout begins with a steep angled climb to a 1,600 foot peak. That's oh. a third of a mile. 
Oh, okay. That'd be a bit scary. Uh, it would take two minutes for the 24 passenger train to reach this crest. That's, oh, that's a lot quick. of contemplation. It man. is. Yeah. That's a lot of time to think about what's going to happen. I guess once next. you get on, you can't really stop. It'd be rude to everyone else who yeah. wants to die. It would, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it reaches 0.3 miles into the sky, any passengers that wish to get out here can then do so. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's an, a back out there's option. There's two minutes yeah, to think decide, about what a horrible actually, decision. Yeah, I mean, I what think. What if it goes wrong? I think there's no way down. I think they. And it just. This is goes over. This is one of the methods of death, is that if you get to the crest and you're like, I don't want to ride the coaster, you can jump. Oh, so there's options oh, there. I'd not, rather ride the it's coaster. It's not the option to get out and go home safely. I'm oh. really I'm this, fascinated. I know you're going to get there, but I'm really excited to learn what, what awaits them at the bottom <laughs> yeah. of this roller coaster. You're currently... Is it just a wall? 1,600 feet in the sky, and you want to know what's coming next. Yeah, and like, that's why, where why, the rails end. Why at that two-minute point, why would you then decide, no, the roller coaster's not for me? You, you're up there. All the work's done. All you've got to do is ride it out, and you'll die. Yeah. It's a much pl- more pleasant way of dying. Well, maybe from the view that you get, you see what's ahead of you, and you decide... I don't really want to go from there. A 1,600 foot drop would take the train to 220 miles per hour. That's 360 kmph before harshly flattening out and speeding into the first of its seven loop de loops, each tighter than the last. Seven brick 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 (laughs) walls. Oh, God. No, it kills them much more elegantly than just smashing them into See, like you go around loops of loops, yeah, but I think when you level out at the bottom of that thing, your guts are just going to go out your ass. Oh, yeah. I think out. it's probably possible to die at that point. You're going at 360 kilometers an hour. You just poof, and level out. You level oh out immediately. God. And then you go into the first of seven loop de loops. Now, these loop de loops get smaller and smaller as they go. So okay. the reduced diameter of each subsequent loop would allow the coaster to maintain the lethal 10G to passengers <laughs> while the train loses speed. After a sickeningly sharp right-hand turn out of the final loop, the train would enter a straight where unloading of corpses and loading Aww. of new passengers could take place. Does it, does it happen efficient. at the same place? That's someone oh, riding the coaster right now. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's it, they're queuing up. Oh, I don't want to die. Right, a couple of questions. Sure. Do they load and unload the passengers from the same place or is there a, Almost certainly. Is there a curtain? No, so while you're queuing up, you can <laughs> see, see what awaits you. This okay. pile of dead bodies. Second yeah. question. Mm. Do they hose it down between goes? I don't think there's actually much fluid. Well, actually, there would be one. I think a lot of people would probably do poos and peas. Yeah. Um, well, they have, like, you know, waterproof seats. So you just spray it off with a hose. Bam. Ready to yeah, go. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I mean, there's two sides to this. There's either, number one, you're about to die anyway. So does it really matter if you get a little bit of poo on your shorts? I don't know. You want, want your last few minutes to be comfortable. You but know? yeah, on yeah. the other hand, this is literally meant to be designed as an elegant way to euthanize yeah, poop people. doesn't right. scream elegance, no. does it? No. Sitting in someone else's. Maybe you have to put on an happy beforehand yeah. oh yeah that's a good, that's idea. A good point yeah yeah uh, third question uh-huh are there souvenirs like a photo um <laughs> or loved ones? Yeah. Yeah. your neck just snapping on that final twist <laughs> yeah you get a t-shirt i didn't survive the euthanasia <laughs> for you to be buried in uh and fourth and final question yeah uh isn't there already one of those at alton towers uh no what? i think the first <laughs> I think the first bit exists, but the the loops don't exist. Yeah, the death right. bit isn't quite there yet. Are okay. they? Yeah. Alton I'm Towers sure are working on it though. They're getting there. They're getting there. The Smiler. So they're getting closer yeah. and closer to death. I yeah. remember I was there at the Smiler's uh, first on the day, day of opening. No, not yeah. not the <laughs> not the event. Right. Um, but I was there the day it opened. God. And the queue was obscene. And have you have you been to it? To Alton Towers or the Smiler? The Smiler. No. I've not been. No, I'm not even sure what this is. I'm going to get it up okay. on my phone. It's that it's, one where it's, tragically. It's like a, oh, did someone mm. die in it? No, like a bunch of teenagers lost their legs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like they, they weren't smiling amputated. anymore, were they? No. God. Fuck. Uh, it's yeah. It's the whole premise is it's some sort of like brainwashing thing, right? Like, and you're queuing up, and all the it's all themed, oh, like we happy few kind yeah, of. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Yes, oh. there's lots. Like you, you'll be smiling after you leave because right. it's like reconditioning They're you. Or smiling. Whatever. That's the whole thing. And it plays this fucking music, and anyone who's been on it will know it. It just goes, ha, 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 
Uh, sadly not. Nobody did call Babalooney. No. Uh, but the, the fucking supports for this thing, because the queue went underneath the big metal support beams right. yeah. uh, that, that attached to the track. Every time it would pass by, the whole thing was fucking oh, shaking God. and rattling. Doesn't make you feel God, good, Still went it? on it. I've been on it twice, I think. God, you could have died. In could fact, have I wonder, did anyone actually... I know people had like limbs amputated, but I think maybe did someone also die? Yeah. You have to Google that. Do we, do I'm we sure Google someone has died on Towers before, haven't they? We should ask rules. At least well, there was that I thing know. that... I don't know if it was at the same park, but basically like two Merlin theme parks within the space of like a year or so had a bunch of horrible, yeah. horrible accidents. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, <laughs> Statistically, you're very safe though, don't worry. Talking of dying on roller coasters, just to give you the full medical explanation of how oh. the euthanasia coaster works, uh, it would kill its passengers through pro- prolonged cerebral hypertop. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> sorry, sorry to cut you off. <laughs> yeah. When I Google I think Alton I'm Towers pro- accident, it yeah. auto fills with Alton Towers accident. 2015 oh. or 2017? <laughs> which oh. which of the many many accidents? Oh god! Which one? Which one are you talking about? There's you been gotta, a few. You gotta right. give us a hand here. Let me see if I've got enough oxygen in my brain to re- to read. <laughs> okay. Prolonged cerebral hypoxia. Jesus. Nice. Fuck. I did a psychology degree and I still can't read that. Oh, you did really well, Peter. I'm proud. What, what does that mean in layman uh, terms? Or insufficient supply of oxygen to the brain. Fair, yeah. uh, the ride's seven inversions would inflict 10G on its passengers for 60 whole seconds, God. causing G-force related symptoms starting with a grey out, which is when you lose your vision uh, but remain kind of conscious. Yeah. Uh, through tunnel vision to blackout and eventual G-lock, which is... Uh, G-force induced loss of consciousness. Nice. Uh, the full series of seven inversions would serve as insurance against unintentional survival of a particularly robust passenger. Ah, oh, someone built like a tank. Wow. So. Hey guys. Yeah. Tunnel, tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Tunnel, tunnel vision. Dun, dun. How are you doing with Smiler? Uh, well, it turns out that Oblivion. Oh. Uh, broke <laughs> down at the highest point. Oh, right, oh which God. Is about is about right, isn't that it? That sounds yeah. fun. Um, the incident, the incident happened near the Smiler roller coaster, which crashed two years ago. Yeah. Oh. A total of sixteen people were injured on the ride when the carriage hit the one that had come to a halt. Oh, yeah, the well, that's not fun because you can how they see lost it their coming. Because their, oh. their legs were like dangling down on yeah. the front, and they thinking about that's maybe really two, weird. Yeah. Two people had uh, had legs amputated. It's, it's fucking awful, really. It is, God, it's not, horrifying. Not remotely amusing. Yeah, you don't want to no, see no, no. just what's about to happen. Just here it comes. We're going to yeah. impact. Ugh. The point is. Um, perhaps not uh, slightly litigiously. Yeah, uh, the Alton Towers are are working. On, on well, they're well on they're their on way. It. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Slowly, limb by limb, they'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, little by little. Yeah. Oh. I think as a kid, da, da, every roller coaster I made in Roller Coaster Tycoon Two was a euthanasia yeah, coaster. Yeah, well, someone I was thinking of that. that. So can they? someone make the I, euthanasia coaster? I'm sure I've coaster? seen it before. It yeah. might exist. Yeah, because well, there are a bunch of different ones, but I'd like someone to recreate. Uh, in the link one. dump, we can put the Ooh. Wikipedia article that I just read verbatim, yeah. pretty much, uh, which has an image, a concept image of the oh, coaster does itself. It? Yeah, is it like Let have they made you. any efforts to make it look enticing and fun, or is it just very clinical? No, it's it's. It looks like a graph. Okay, it is just a graph. Yeah. That oh, yeah. does wow. look lethal. That oh, looks that's lethal. amazing. I want to go. <laughs> Imagine this, the oh. feeling you would get in that final loop if you were, which you wouldn't be conscious at all. But you yeah. Would, yeah. Your body you compressing. I would, if I was going to kill myself, I would ride that. Oh, yeah, but yeah. That's going to be the best It would have to be comfortable because I've been on roller coasters that exert minor levels of G, mm. but when you go around the corner, it feels like you've been punched in the face because yeah. your head yeah. smacks into this Donk. metal Yeah, you want your head to barrier. be fixed in place. You're not wiggling around. Yeah, you want to be in a bed, basically. Already in your coffin. Oh, that'd be, you want yeah, to just be loaded into your coffin. Yeah, you buy the coffin at the gift shop before you go on. Yeah. They get loaded yeah. on. Perfect. Wipe clean, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah because fresh of, cotton. you know, the, the poo <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. And so uh, there you go. Maybe Thank you, Peter. Another little trip. Um, I just I've noticed a tweet that's literally just come through at time of recording. I do want to read this out. Okay. This is from at good Steg- Stegosaurus Matt Edwards. Yeah. Um, it's to me and Ben. It says, "Can you create another bot called Unsure Ben and Peter and start a conversation with at this is rules boss and just let it run out for the rest of time?" Yeah. <laughs> so if we created a bot that periodically tweeted at this is rule bo- rules boss, hello, is, is that it- rules boss? God. Yeah. Then they would just be stuck forever. Well. You Here's two would have thing. to retire because that's your whole job there. Te- that's it. <laughs> Technically, we did spend a lot of time this morning talking to a bot. Yes, that yeah. is true. But there's a fail save where there's a 5% chance that it will not reply. Oh, really? 
I thought you were just saying that. In case it gets that. stuck into a bot loop. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, so it would be funny, and there's a very good chance that it would go for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. But there's also a good chance that it'll just stop after a while. Right. And players bets how many tweets before it ends. Yeah. yeah. We could do. We could... God, I don't know if I want to. Though. Yeah. We've only got so many email addresses to sign up for burner Twitter accounts. <laughs> That's God. the problem, really. Uh, good thing that you mentioned good Stegosaurus, because he asks the next question. Oh, How about that? Look at that. That's from Matt Edwards. Oh, baby, a double. Oh, baby, a double. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite series? Prove it, piece of cake, memory cards, etc. to make, slash film, slash create, and why? Oh, oh good golly gosh, man. Mm. I'm, I'm going to split mine up into different sections. I think okay. my favourite to edit would be Worst Games Ever. Sure. Because yeah. that's a format you can have a shit ton of fun with. You can mm. splice mm. in little fun moments. I think in terms of just pure concept, uh, prove it is yeah. really yes. fun. That's just think, think of something really stupid, try and do it. Bam, there you go. you got an episode. Yeah. I think they're my, my favourites to produce. Mm-hmm. How about you boys? Uh, I really like, in terms of editing and writing, uh, I actually really like the lists, silly lists. Yeah. Uh, it's not a, a big regular show that we do, but we do it maybe once a month-ish. There and, are a uh, lot of work. Aren't there are a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun. And mm. it's just a chance to be silly and, uh, yeah, just write sort of slightly surreal humour. And, yeah, that's a lot of fun. But, yeah, I think Prove It is great doing live-action challenges. I still really love the Cooking Mama one we did. And, actually, the Sims one, too. Yes. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did enjoy that. I hated doing the live action Pokemon challenge there. Those fucking eggs. Oh my uh, god, yeah. it smelled so you got bad. The, uh, shit under the stick there. Oops, oh, shit, there goes my phone. Okay. Never mind. He's lost oh. that now. The no, original, Peter, don't. Uh, oh. What is that background? It's it's a Snapchat filter. Oh, cute. Of my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. And it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Oh, it's not nice. going in the link dump. No, uh, <laughs> no, nor should it. But Pe- highly humorous. I agree about the list. I like doing the lists. Yeah. Um, they are very daft, and they take a lot of man hours. Yeah, Uncle Daft. Uncle, yes, Uncle <laughs> Uncle Daft, the responsible zoo owner's Uncle Daft. And the Pokemon one in particular, for Prove It, mm. uh, that, was, that was also great fun. But the original plan was to actually look <laughs> after an animal. Yeah, it was supposed to be my dog. Michael's the, dog. Yeah, a little chihuahua. But, uh, sadly, it would have been great. It would have been so good because he's such a good dog. He's very placid. He'll just, whatever you do to him, he, he won't be phased by it. He's a it. proper, like, internet dog as well. Yeah. Like, you take any picture of Paco and he just looks like a meme. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> he, he's dank, 420, uh, All the time, 24-7. Yeah. But he's living it up. Yeah, he's currently on holiday in Spain right now. Nice. So, yeah, before we had the chance to film, he was jetting off to another continent to have a nice, a nice holiday. Oh, same, same continent, different country. Is UK part of... Well... Because I, mean, I was thinking in terms of land, not part of the mainland. Mass, it's, no. It's, it's, because well, it's the UK debatable. is very separate. If you ask a... I guess you wouldn't call, like, little islands off... You wouldn't call, like, what, the Shetlands its own continent, would you? <laughs> I, think that, <laughs> I mean, you, you could. Okay, he's gone That'd to another fun. country. There yes. are, like, different Sorry, definitions. Michael. There's, like, geophysically... Continents are literally just the physical chunks that are stuck together. Okay, then I was talking about geophysical continents. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we ended up having to basically add, not ad lib, but at the last minute make up a sketch that we could do instead of a challenge. Yeah. And that involved and eggs. It involved stinky, eggs. Stinky, stinky eggs. And uh, we thank you for bearing with us through that. Yeah. Uh, Maybe one day Paco will make his appearance, but oh, uh, please. Paco, not just yet. Paco definitely needs to make his Absolutely. debut at some point. Uh, next question, this is from Owen Giddings. Yeah. He wants to know, who's Michael's favourite serial killer? <laughs> oh, I'm glad they got asked this one. I think as I stated in the last... Sorry, before you before you answer, can we define favourite, please? As in, uh, yeah. I admire what he did. I would say, I just... I, would, I, would I say, have tried to repeat. I, yeah. I enjoy the sinisterness. An sinister-ness. inspiration is all, yeah. An insp- right, okay. Um, cool, so the worst one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. The worst one, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so, well... I always jump to Ed Gein, as I did in uh, the the second episode of the podcast. He's one of my favourites just because of how interesting Bazaar was making skins out of human uh, suits out of human it's skin, interesting. making yeah. lampshades out of skin. It's... But technically, not really a serial killer because he only killed two people. True, you have to kill three. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's he's just, it. He's just... And then you get your certificate in your bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there you go. You've, you've graduated. He was just a, a serial grave digger. But I think <laughs> favourite serial killers, mm. a duo. Yeah. Uh, Leonard Lake and Charles Ng, Ng 
Sorry, um, NG. I don't even pronounce it. Are you just trying to remember what his surname is? <laughs> Charles. Um, um, <laughs> no, his last name is NG. I think it's pronounced. Mm. Mm, okay. Charles Wing. Land Lake and Charles Wing. They are fucked up motherfuckers. I think they built like a torture cabin out behind, out behind one of the guys' houses, and they just took people there, tortured them, and killed them. Wow. And there's tapes of it, which obviously haven't been released to the public because that would be horrible. But you've seen them. Oh, I've, yeah, I've got connections. Got, I'm, I'm the best mate. Jesus. Yeah, no, I think if I was going to go outside of Egg Gein, Land Lake and Charles Wing. Mm. But inside of Egg Gein. Oh, fuck yeah. I want to oh. get inside of Ed Gein's yeah. skin. I want to dress up as uh, Augusta Wilhelm. Yeah. Be, that's, my, that's my fantasy. God. Dancing in the moonlight, wearing yeah. that mask. She was so cross that there was a woman. Oh, my God. An unmarried woman. A woman. A woman. Thanks for asking me about my favourite serial killers. Yeah, yeah thanks, Owen. Not that's, asking me. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Owen. What, what's your favourite, Peter? Go on. Uh, Are you a H.H. H. Holmes man? Or? I don't know. No, I don't know. I, no, I don't know. Jack the Ripper. Sorry to be mainstream, but Jack the Ripper's... <sighs> Boo. As you know, Jack the Ripper's an interesting one. It's pretty interesting. Jack the um, Ripper's a lot of fun. I just the, he's the a myst- fun man. It's the, it's the fact that he's so mysterious and like yeah, we we'll never know. And I like the, the the setting of the whole thing. Yeah, no, um, I like kind of East End of London's gritty as fuck. It's really interesting. Yeah, one of my favourite shows on Netflix, it's not a Netflix original, but one of my favourite <sighs> shows on Netflix right now is... Uh, is Whitechapel. You recommended this to me months ago. I'm yeah. yet to watch it, but I will watch it because it sounds so good. I say right now as though it's still running. It's sadly not still running. They oh. did four seasons. Damn. It ended on a mental cliffhanger and, and then, then it didn't get commissioned for <gasps> season five. Bastards. And I'm livid. But it's it's so good. It's really good. Was Jack there with like uh, a piece of paper and he looked like he was finally going to, you know... He was gonna. He was gonna do it. He's gonna. He gonna yeah, like a golden gonna, envelope. He was yeah. gonna rip the paper. Oh, I see. After yeah. four seasons, they've been building up, and then he didn't. And then he didn't. It's like the ending of Inception. The top is still spinning. Ooh, or is, is that it? a rip? Or it's wobbled. Or oh, has you never it? Never know. Not not a huge fan of serial killers. If no. I'm, if no. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Not I understand the morbid people. fascination, but like. Uh, but if they, you had to pick a favorite, yeah, come on, Michael. Michael. Yeah. Hey, keep that fucking quiet. No one else knows. Okay, fine, Dave. Yes. This is your second warning. <laughs> one more and you're a serial yeah, I've killer. still got one warning left. It's fine. <laughs> your badge is in the post. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming with us. My turn. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's Ben's turn. I brought a thing. Oh, he's brought a thing. Firstly, a quick update on our, our good friends over at Toys R Us. Oh. oh. I heard about this. So last time we left it, we recorded on, the, on roughly the 22nd of March, mm-hmm. which is nearly a month ago. God, yeah. I feel... God, is that our last podcast? Yeah, that's that's every, when we recorded. Aren't we they? Yeah. recorded it early, though. Yeah, because yeah, Peter, Peter was a busy was boy. Going away. God. Yeah. They had raised out of, I think they wanted a, what was it, like a billion or something? Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. Something insane. A small loan of a billion dollars. They, <laughs> they had raised $200 million, uh-huh. $26,239, God, which we were like, bad. that's loads. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, he'd got $200 million from back as oh, investors. Yeah. Right. And he'd only actually raised $26,239. Yeah, that sounds a bit more likely. As of the 16th of April. Oh. They have raised two hundred million, sixty-two thousand. Oh my God! They're getting so close. They've, they're inching towards. <laughs> yeah, they've it. they've raised a quarter, about thirty thousand dollars in a month. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I don't think Toys R Us is coming back. It's unlikely, isn't it? But I think what about the rest of us that wanted to be Toys R Us kids? Yeah. yeah. Look at that whole generation of Toys R Us kids. Gone. I wanted a badge. Uh, my own a block party. Sticker. No, an sticker. invitation to a an block invest- party. <laughs> and it would only cost you $250,000. Yeah. yeah. And naming rights for any Toys R Us, where you could call it the shit Toys R Us. A plaque <laughs> with your name on it. Yeah. Uh. Fuck Uncle Fucko's Toys R Us. <laughs> Come yeah. on down. Guys, I've got I've got um, an investment opportunity for oh, you. Oh, God. Right. Wheeler dealer, Ben Potter. So this is a Kickstarter. Right. I'm going to play you a video. Okay. Hopefully you can hear it because we've got a weird setup. Just going to record the audio as well. Oh, it's on its own track, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going high tech this week, this works. Listen up, boys. I'm listening. Hello, my name is Diane. Hi, Diane. And I'm here to talk to you about Farta. What? 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 Ah, Farta. Farta is a revolutionary service that aims to bring the timeless quality of flatulence under the control... What? The timeless of quality of flashlights. Under the control of modern technology. A fart is an extension of your personality. Okay. You can let a fart just slide That's its way nice. out, but why not put some thought into it? With farter, you can deliver put a fart that means fart into it. Select from a variety of fart sources, what? adjust the qualities, and let it rip. Within nanoseconds, your beef will be steaming through the internet. What? The what? recipient. So you can create... With farter, the only limit to what you can create Sorry, is your imagination. 
and you can deliver a thought performance that will leave your audience gasping it's, for more. It's an app that you can use to... <laughs> for God's sake! <laughs> the world is waiting to hear from you. What a... The world is what waiting. a bit of presentation for an app, a fart app. Thoughts. So I mean, she goes on for another... <laughs> <laughs> what are we laughing That's... at? How old are we? children. That's, that is only half, <laughs> half of the presentation. Genuinely, that's actually quite an okay idea for an app. Because in far apps, you get one or two predefined apps. They're all apps. the same ones. Exactly. <sighs> like the usual stuff. But this one, you get to create your own fart. It's like on, you know, on these candid camera shows when someone's walking around with a little fart machine. Yeah. It's like a sexy girl climbing a ladder or whatever. And she's like, excuse me, sir, can you hold the ladder for me? And it's like, oh, let's catch this man looking up her skirt. And then she presses the fart button. <laughs> And it's the same ones. It's, and I'm yeah. like, if that happened to me, yeah, I would know instant. immediately that, oh. That's a stock sound. I'm on some kind of TV show but here. But bam, that's where Farter comes in. Yeah. This is this is Farter, F-A-R-T-R. Mm-hmm. And the lady you just heard from there mm. is uh, Diane Butts Church, PhD. Butts Church? <laughs> Butts Church. Butts Butts Church. Butts Church. Is she, what is she a doctor of? She's a... I'm glad you are. <laughs> <laughs> she is a... Uh, a xenoflatuologist. Oh, which Zeno is flat- meaning different. Yeah. So she's she's, she, she's a PhD in creating new fart sounds. Wow. I think so. That's amazing. Um, so I don't know if you got to look at the phone there that that was used as an example. Mm. Someone had been sent a farter, and the <laughs> right. notification said, "Rob has left you a steaming gift." Oh, wasn't that nice? Uh, with, steaming within nanoseconds. Isn't that more like a chip, though? Your beef will be stre- steaming through the internet to the intended recipient. Man, and that is uh, Diane Butts Church PhD. Thanks, we Diane. We are truly living in the future. So let's have a look at this Kickstarter, shall we? They want. In fact, do you want to guess how much they wanted oh. for Farter? Uh, okay, so I'm going to guess by the term "wanted," it's over, and it is over. Okay, I'm going to say. $120,000. So this is the goal, right, that they were going this for? This is what they they wanted to make Farter a reality. Uh, They'd already got it kind of up and running, as you could tell. Just wanted from your help to push it into the mainstream. Well, I, I'm hoping that it was less. It was how nothing. Much, it how was much like is Farter worth to you, Peter? £20,000. Wow. Dollars. You've both completely overestimated. Oh. It's $10,000. Oh. That's all right. I win. Um, I, was, I was thinking, you know, $120,000, that's a couple of people's wages for a year. That's beta testing. Yeah. That's, Jesus, that's, that's, that's a good good price. Was it or wasn't it successful? Surely. She has to be successful. Please. Diane, Diane's got a PhD. She's a but smart church. cookie. Yeah. Let's have a look at these goals before we go, before we, before we reveal um, right. how successful the fast Before we drop. Was. Before we, uh, before we <laughs> cut, on, cut, the, cut the cheese or something, I don't know. That wasn't very. Yeah. No, I started without. I shouldn't really have. I shouldn't really have gone before, there. Before we let we cut one. Yeah, loose. before I let rip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Something like that. Yeah, as long as we're, loose. Are we happy with Fart that? Loose. No. No. Can we cut all that out? <laughs> yeah. Just sure. Save I'll the just, embarrassment. Okay. Let's and cut there. Cool. Do you dream <laughs> of a friend's phone farting at the worst time? Oh boy! Water is that dream an app for you to build and Have share? Have you ever had a dream the where you could do so fart. much you, you wanted? To, you could do anything. Farter. It's this is a real thing as well. So it God. farts. Just it just plays the sound. So you can craft a fart. Mm. Yeah. It looks like it's basic. It's a rudimentary mixing thing where you can layer farts, change their pitch and yeah. their speed and their duration. Mm. And then send it to a friend, and when they open it, it'll then just fart. Embarrass them. Yeah. I don't... I... To be honest, at the beginning of the uh, video you showed us, I thought it was kind of like something that linked into your actual digestive system to make you really fart. Yeah, she oh. said something about, like, why not let... Like, don't just let let it go when you need to. Why not hold on to it? Yeah. And, like, I use it to it imply like that you could record your own fart. I, I thought there might be some kind of, I like, got. butt plug attachment. Like peripheral. a whistle. Yeah. And it, like... <laughs> Hey, it, it, it could quite it literally be a stretch goal. Whoa, hey! potentially. Very that, good. That's a good one. That is a good one. Um, I don't know if Diane Butts Church is officially, uh, <laughs> you know, like a, involved in the production of this app. Right. I like to think or that just she a is. spokesperson, like uh, Jared Fogel for Subway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that went really well, that one. Uh, nothing could go wrong at Butt Church. Butts, Butts the Church. Butts Church Butts with a Z. Church. So I'm going to look at the rewards for you now. Just, yeah. uh, just if you want to invest in this ten thousand dollar idea. Oh yeah, I'm far, ready. Farter. <laughs> so if you pledge one dollar, this 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 level's called the squeaker. Diana, oh. come and just fart. Thank you for your support. Have an Android app. 
Oh. So they actually give you the app okay. at the minimum reward. For a dollar. Is, that's all right. That's good, yeah. yeah. Toys R Us, learn, learn from them. Fart yeah. is doing it right. <laughs> if you pledge $4 or more... They send you a turd in a shoebox. You don't actually. You get different app skins and different fingers. Because the sorry. UI oh. has fingers. Right. Or something. No. Yeah. They haven't yeah, why is it fingers? Through. I don't know. I mean, you I wouldn't want to put arseholes or butt cheeks in there. That's a bit too graphic. So I it guess is. fingers make sense. Butt but cheeks you could do. Yeah. But I guess like you couldn't have hills, one. Pink but hills. You need, they'd already need pink to be two. Hills. Pink hills. Every single piece of graphic design on this page. Graphic design. Is, well, yeah, is I say passion. that mockingly. Because it's one sort of cheek shape with like a cloud coming out the back of it. Right. It doesn't right. look remotely arse like ah. Because they, they didn't commit and follow through with their... They didn't follow through. Exactly, and they should have done. Next one is $5. This one's called Blast of Fingers. Don't understand. Mm. Uh, Here you get all the app skins and fingers that are unlocked by this campaign. Sorry. I need to find the the finger connection here. Isn't finger blasting... Yeah, that's that's not. That's not. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to pop ahead here to $30 for the farter idea, if you're really into it. Oh, yeah. You get a shirt. And it says... Can you guess what it says? Uh... Is it the word shirt with the R crossed out? No, that's good, though. Oh. Yeah. It's similar. Shart. No. no. <laughs> I farted. Farted. I fart. Oops, mm, I farted. That's... No, I was it just says better I from farted. the genius behind it. Why would you farted. want a shirt that said I farted? Well, if you do, it ships anywhere in the world. Oh, fuck it. So... Like it shits anywhere oh. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> now, if, you, if you're really into... And this is where it starts to get interesting. If right. you're really into into farter and you yeah. think, this, oh, yeah. this, this is, is where I want the, to put my money. This is the future. Hmm. It's 2007 all over again. Yeah, my grandpa just died just last arriving. week. I've got my inheritance and I'm ready to spend <laughs> yeah. it the best. I'm ready to make an app that's going to blow everyone's mind. Yeah. If you want to donate a thousand dollars, yeah, ten percent of the entire thing they need, you can build your very own fart. <gasps> what? For, so this confirms oh. that you cannot actually record your own fart in this app. Right. So build a fart, customize your own finger with animation. Oh. I don't. And fart. Your finger will be part of a special Kickstarter finger pack. This all loops back to our very first test recording podcast yeah, with it does. microphones up the rectum. Oh my god. You need to know which, which microphone you'd use to best capture Come the full fart. Circle. Oh my god. Now, the top level tier is truly a level of commitment to flatulence comedy that I've, I think is, is missing today in yeah. society, really. Uh-huh. Right. If you're willing to donate $7,500 wow. to Farter, yeah. the app, most of the, the gold. Yeah, that is a, a hearty amount. What do you get, Ben? A farty amount. This title is... <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> the title is... Trying to make up for the... <laughs> skin in the game. Right. Mm-hmm. Who wants a custom finger when you can customise the app itself? <gasps> Your very own skin. Uh. With animations and UI and the whole shebang. Damn. You also get a t-shirt and a whoopee cushion. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Why is the whoopee cushion not offered at, like, tier two? I don't... That's so weird. I don't know. Uh, Farter was unsuccessful. Oh, no. no. How? How? How much did it raise, though, out of its $10,000... Oh. oh, I can't oh, believe it. it's going to be something heartbreaking, like $12, it's isn't it? It's heartbreaking. So, <laughs> <laughs> will you just give... Just, just... Just stop. Just stop that. Yeah. How much? Um, $112. 9000 Oh, it's either very close or very far away. The world is waiting. I like Good. how the music just yeah. cuts back in. Um, <laughs> it raised one hundred and twenty-two dollars. Oh, oh, that's one dollar off. Out of ten. Oh no, I was, I was eleven dollars off. Thousand. Oh, Diane. That's heartbreaking. How's she going to pay off her student fees? Yeah. Diane, but well, that's what she gets for going into Being a, a very, church very specific cheap. field. Diane what a shame. Butts Church. PhD. Yeah, she's a Xeno flatulologist. Flatulologist, yeah. Uh, That's a real she job. She went to university, she made her parents proud, and this is like what she was going to do. It's going to be a, a big dissertation project. I hope she's okay. So do I. Do you think she's just sat now on a pavement somewhere, just saying, anyone want. I've got Can I fart for anyone? Fingers, Please. anyone? We'll fart for food. Fing- fingers. Anyone want a finger fingers. blast? Something about fingers. Skin. Skin. Petrill. Petrill. So thank you, Diane Butts Church, PhD. <laughs> you tried for, your best. For, for trying to just bring humanity back from, yeah. the, from the brink, really. Yeah. 
and no one was interested. See, if I'd saw that, I would have donated every last penny. Seven, seventy-five hundred dollars. I, I don't have that kind of money, but I would right. have donated. I would have helped. I would have. I've got what. But you would have if you could. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. If I had that money, I'd know that's a righteous cause. That's mm-hmm. worth donating. That's the kind of thing that's going to live on forever in museums. People are going to be talking about this app for years. Farter. It was never, never to be. Mother, farter. <laughs> funding unsuccessful. Uh, this project's what, funding was, goal was when not was it? reached on the fourteenth of March. <gasps> it was. That recent? Yeah. Oh, Tragic. If we you just caught it in a our bit sooner, lifetime. Whoa. Yeah. If you caught it a bit sooner and put it in the previous episode, yeah, they we would could have, have done it. Our fans would have definitely... You think? Yeah. I think maybe we would have got it up to maybe like eight backers instead of seven. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, it's, it's, if every little helps. Now all we got to do is just record our own farts and send them over like manually, like, a, like, like fucking cavemen or something. Wouldn't... That's pretty good. All right. Yeah. Your mouth's going to be moving for that. Oh, Yeah. Weird. What am I? Who do I work with? Hello. I love that I can control my own uh, head with that now. Wouldn't a simpler app be just like a kind of fart sharing social media service where all yeah. you do is record and upload farts, just good farts, just good farts. Good, that's what we can. Go, it's like Goodreads, but good farts, like good fellas. Yeah, there's got to be a pun in there somewhere, right? Yeah, someone do that. If you make apps, yeah. if, if you're an appman. Or, or a woman. Or a woman. Or a woman. Or a woman. Like back in the day, we had ratemypoo.com. That was a roaring success. Was that a thing? Yeah. You never went on ratemypoo.com? No, I never went oh, on ratemypoo.com. So <laughs> I think it's still going. It's really good. There's some monster poos on there. It's really good. I recommend just having a little browse. How many times did you upload to ratemypoo.com? <laughs> I never did. No, I never did, sadly. But yeah. maybe today's the day. Because that's the thing. All those turds are in the balls without any toilet paper. Hmm. So is that person just stood up with a messy arse? Yes. Took the picture of the poo? Yeah. I'm, I'm not an animal. Belly. I can't do that. I'll laugh and I'll rate it 10 out of 10. <laughs> but I'm not going to take the picture myself. That's a 10. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about like up. actually looking at feces, mm. but I do know that a good fart noise. What did you do sans, with your childhood? San smell is funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and it's funny for that few seconds. We can create a then... platform where people can Share anonymously or totally nominously. Yeah, just say hello. My name is John Michaels, <laughs> and here is my fart. <laughs> Then I that's fine. Tommy I think trumpeter. that's something the world needs, and yeah. um, and that's something that I'm willing to provide. And I'll reach out to Diane Buttschurch, PhD, and we'll see if she wants to bring us an actuality over. Yeah, she can change her name if she feels embarrassed about the f- previous failed. We could have a new mascot, Bobby Babapuni. Yeah, or <laughs> oh, that sounds a bit sounds uh, a bit slightly vagina, uh, doesn't it? Puni. Yeah, let's have okay. a blast with Bobby Babapoop, 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 pick up a penguin. Fucking hell! Anyway, that's what I brought today. I might bring you another shitty Kickstarter next hey, time. Hey. A shitty Kickstarter. Is that the only ba-da, reason ba-da, you brought ba-da, this? Ba-da. A Kickstarter. Like, if I can find a Kickstarter that's related to poos or farts, <laughs> then at no. the end I can say, next time I'll bring you another shitty Kickstarter. That's just what the name of the Reddit is. Yeah. Oh. It was already there. It was already okay. made for me. Let's wrap up with a, with a final question. Yeah. The wrap. And this comes from Johanna. Oh, Johanna. Hound of Siru on from Twitter. Finland. Johanna, from fin- Finland, Finland, Finland. Finnish, Finland, Finland. Finland has it all. Is that a thing? Yeah. Is that millions is that a fin- of toys is that- all under yeah, one roof? Thing. And it's called Fin Finland, Fin Finland, Fin Finland. Oh, that's the toys are. That's, no, that's the Finland theme song. Yeah. The national anthem. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Fin Fin Finland. <laughs> <laughs> it's in another continent. That one. Yeah. <laughs> It's in a different, <laughs> different landmass. Shut up. <laughs> Your Hannah wants to uh, just ask tattoo talk. Oh, oh. Is that all it says? Tat-talk. Yeah, tattoo talk. Peter, tell us about your tattoos. All the things you said, all the things you said, running, running through, through my head, head running, running through, through my head, head running through, through my head. head. That's just it. Uh, my tattoos. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any tattoos <gasps> because I, uh, there are a bunch of franchises that I would like to get tattoos for. Yeah. But I just don't like the thought of being a 90-year-old man and having, like, Han Solo Saggy tats. emblazoned across my forehead. What about Is Hans that what you get? No, I wouldn't. I, I've, Han Solo's nowhere near my top Star Wars character. I wouldn't even get Han Star Solo? Wars, necessarily. I think at the moment my Twitter bio says too scared of commitment for a Star Wars tattoo, but I think I would get... <laughs> uh, you've just got to do it. I'd get Spyro sooner than Star Wars. Would Ooh. you? Yeah. See, I don't know if I'd want... A big old colourful one. I know no, I don't mean got a I would one. get oh, yeah. Spyro I himself. I, no? I, I just mean I'd, I'd get... A gem? S- yeah, something Spyro related. Yeah, a gem would be nice. An yeah. orb or something. Why so that's not like overtly like a chibi Spyro. 
It makes you look a bit weird when you're an old man. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm not a huge fan of like the bright, colourful ones. Like, nah. I knew a couple of people who had like the one ups and the mushrooms from from uh, yeah. like, That's a bit too much for me. I'd rather they be a bit more subtle. Something muted. I think actually I would maybe even get a quote rather than Ooh. yeah. I name it. Just something that's probably just gonna be black and white or black and black and skin. Oh. Um yeah. Or I white and skin. Or white and skin. White I'd, I'd, I'd see tattoos as something that has to be like permeate with your life forever and ever. It's just a reflection of a period of time. Well, exactly. That, yeah. Well, obviously, everyone has different outlooks. You can't. Not everyone can feel the same way about it. It can be a reflection of a period of time, but something that later on in your life you're still going to want to look back and go, "Oh, yeah. I remember that great time." I remember um, going for a haircut once, and my haircut person, what hairdresser, hairdresser. Barber. Yeah. Hairdresser, a barber, or woman, or, or, bar, or man. Bar, bar him, bar, bar her. him, bab her. Had a fresh Rick and Morty tattoo. It was oh, a really nice yeah. tattoo, like a whole oh. whole calf kind of thing. I was like, oh, it's a really nice tattoo, but I don't know. Yeah. I've already got sick of Rick, Rick and Morty Rick. after a it's couple like, of months. Yeah, it's like meme tattoos. Yeah. Meme tattoos are dreadful. No People who got like um, the Harlem Shake. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> yeah. That's one. Does, I, I do like style. meme tattoos because I do kind of have a meme tattoo, which is. Yeah, but. You like The Simpsons yeah, as well. Yeah. Like some people would get Hans Molman just because he's a meme. <laughs> yeah. Michael has Hans Molman. Yeah, I guess right. I do. I have a Hans Molman on my uh, right. What is this area called? Calf? An- Not calf. An- ankle. An- Achilles. Yeah. Like the lower ankle. I've got yeah. near my foot. Yeah. I've got the Hans Molman there. I chose my tattoo artist because he had previous experience with Simpsons tattoos. Yeah. He's got, uh, for someone else, he did a tattoo of a poo looking at a magazine called a Giant, Giant, Giant Asses. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, so nice. that's on someone's body forever. But I went for a nice, simple Hans Bull, man. He's, oh, he's my favourite. And he's all coloured in and everything. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's bright yellow, he's got his glasses. It's, it's I think it's great, about. I really like yours. Yeah, yeah it's a good it's tattoo. Good. And I remember the day I got it, I looked down and thought, yes, this was a, the right decision. And ever what since do your then, parents think? They just laughed. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I think <laughs> they, we they, can't they control him me. anymore, Deborah. Yeah, yeah he's he, going to do what he wants. They gave up a long time ago. Uh, he ate silica gel. Let's not. <laughs> that's just, tattoos probably the least harmful thing he's yeah. done to himself. Yes, Ben, you've got a couple, haven't you? Yeah. I have a couple of tattoos. Yes, I have. Um, I have one on my uh, my right outer bicep and yeah. my left inner bicep. Um, the one, uh, the first one I got was uh, I think my second year of university, and it's an uncharted tattoo. They're both oh, game yeah. related. Uh, the what first a nerd. one is it? I know, right? <laughs> first one is an, is an uncharted tattoo. That's Nathan Rake. Uh, Nathan Rake. <laughs> Nathan Rake. <laughs> what, what I've just realised I got this home. tattoo done wrong <laughs> all this time. It's Nathan Drake's ring inscription. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sick Parvis Magna, greatness from, from small, small beginnings. beginnings. Sick Parvis. Yeah, so that's on my my left inner arm, that's and good. my friend got that done as well. So oh, we nice. both have the same tattoo. Oh, yeah. And this other tattoo on my right arm was actually done here in Bristol a few years ago. Whoa! And that is also I share that with one of my other friends as well. Oh. So we both got that tattoo too. Two, two, two. Tattoos. Tattoo two. And that is a Bioshock reference. It's it's got the uh, the chains, um, and it's yeah, just uh, a chain link, and it says a man chooses a slave obeys, which is something a, a quote from that game, and also the the protagonist has has the chains tattooed on his wrist. Yeah, oh, cute. so that is um, yeah, it's not overt, it's not in your face, it's nice and subtle, it's got class. Yeah, a little bit. I think Adam Pacitti recently got a really fucking good tattoo. It was Did like he? Um, like a little diorama scene of like someone getting abducted by an alien oh, which is cool. really pretty now oh, I nice. genuinely really wanted a tattoo just like it. that it's That's so awesome. good I want to get like some kind of alien tattoo at some point or maybe do like a stick and poke of an alien on my own leg a stick and poke yeah we just manually jab no jab your leg. Michael no I really want I like, I like stick and pokes as a style I think it's really good Okay, maybe a professional? Nope, maybe let nope. a professional The charm of stick and pokes is fucking it up and being okay. scarred forever with your mistakes Wow, that's wonderful. How long have we been going for? We've today? been going for one hour. Hey, that's perfect. Let's wrap this motherfucker up. Ideal. And then according to the analytics, everybody clicks off the video now. That's what happens oh, yeah. as soon as I say that. Well, let's uh, tell them that there's going to be something hidden amongst this outro that they're really going to want to <gasps> know about. If you decode it, you get... Um... No, it's not even a coded thing. I'm just... We can, like, halfway through, just shout something amazing. Like, oh. you know... Oh, the next Prove It's going to be... Uh, GTA. Okay, now you can. Everyone can stop yeah, listening. Yeah, in fact, I have a bit of fun news that that oh. I can share about what the future holds for us. But you have to wait until the very end. Haha. <laughs> well, oh. no, because I'll just skip to the end. No, 
I'll put it in just before. <laughs> what? We'll have we'll wear minutes of silence at the end. So when I think we'll I listen it. to it. Yeah, you've got to listen to the silence. <laughs> hey, we're going to speak the whole time. You know who told me this? It's Dave. Mm. At Dave. At Dave on he Twitter. He was looking at our analytics and he said, usually people are tuning out here. If you go and listen to that and you work out what it is, you can try and avoid doing it. Yeah. So, well, with the podcast, I'm literally wrapping up the show. Uh, <laughs> I can't not do that. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. it'll go on forever. But yeah, we're wrapping up the show now. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you to uh, Turtle Beach for sponsoring us. <gasps> bit.ly forward slash video speech to look at all their stuff. Please go and watch our Milan Noir video. Oh, oh yeah, do. that was wonderful. That was That's good fun. what we've been working on for the last week Oh, we so. didn't even talk about that. That was no. good fun to shoot. It was great. I th- I d- we can talk about it now. It was a three-part um, sort of live-action thing that we were paid to, uh, to put together by yeah. the developers and the publisher of Milan Noir. Had I think that. Thanks very much for having faith in us and letting us yes. do an advert because that was good you. fun. We got to yeah. run about with guns and fake motorcycles and mustaches. It was, was great. great. It was really silly. And Loved you can it. Go to our channel now, youtube.com forward slash vidiots official to watch those now. There's three of them. They're about five minutes each. They're, they're great fun and really silly. And whatever you do for the love of God, please go into the description and click through the link where it says check out the game. Yeah. Please do that. That'd and well done, great. Michael, for editing those. Yeah. yeah. They're incredible works of art. Nice work, Michael. It was a team effort. Adding that, all the audio and That things. finale was a real, real fun one to a do. Wheel. A really good we time. Had to, we had an aerial shot, didn't we? Which actually, yeah. Oh, yeah. all of it felt very uncomfortable to do anyway when oh. we were out and about. But when it came to actually... <laughs> We we had a cameraman with yeah, us. Yeah, because throughout wasn't all so this, I was running alongside in front yeah, of you. So, so it, that's it, it all made right. sense. People looking on thought, oh, they're making a video. Yeah. But when I suggested Michael maybe, because you live nearby. Yeah, why yeah. Why don't you go up? You've got a little balcony area. Yeah. Why don't you go out onto that and film down at the car park, which is empty at the moment. From a long distance. So yeah. it's not yeah. underneath his balcony. It's across the road from yeah, his balcony. Yeah, it's over a bridge. <laughs> yeah. So we could just, you know, have, have a really silly aerial shot to cut to. And that would be quite funny. Michael went up there. Uh, so. We called him and said, okay, go now. And then we were running round. <laughs> We didn't. We didn't use the fake guns in this bit because we didn't yeah, want to be want... running around with pretend guns yeah, when we didn't climate, have a camera. That's not the best thing to with do. us because that kind of made it obvious that we're, you know, they're not real. It's a prank, bro. It's just a prank. <laughs> but that was great fun. Yeah, that whole enterprise to put together. So please go and watch that. Please do. Because if you watch it and you like it, it means we'll do more in the future. Oh, yes. If you support that, that we good? get to do more of those. Yeah. And remember. We don't make a lot of money from ads. No, no. So, so we need this shit. Brand deals are where it's going to be, and we want to make them as fun and as interesting as possible. So yeah. we'd appreciate your support if you went and watched them. That'd be great. Now, again, thank you to our patrons. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, uh, lads and lasses. Forward lasses. slash Vidiots Official on there. And also, if you want to find us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, it's all forward slash Vidiots Official. So easy. Whoa, it's almost like we knew what we were doing. <sighs> oh, my Mad. God. Please leave us an iTunes review. Or just a review slash rating on your platform of choice. We're now going to apply to be put on to... Spotify. Spotify. I think I looked out the other week. We are in like the top 200 comedy podcasts on uh, the podcast app. On that's, the- really? That's fucking stupid, isn't yeah. it? I think top we're like 100, no, 183. So we're doing all right. Considering yeah. we're a couple episodes in. Nice. I want to be number one by next week. Everyone rate great. five stars, please. Yeah, everyone push push up those algorithms. Yeah, give us ratings. Algor- algorithms. Now, before I talk about the shows that are coming up this week. Oh, oh. I'm going to sneak in that thing that I said if people hung around, they'd be able to listen <gasps> to. What is it? What is it? We're currently <gasps> arranging oh. in June <gasps> to go to Newcastle. What? Yes. what? To do what? To, have, whom? to have a couple of days yes. where we can record loads and cr- loads of crossover stuff. Where? Yeah. With, with, but who? With, with who? With the Cultaholic. <gasps> It's happening! You keep asking, of course we want to do it, but we're nowhere near each other. We're at the other end of the country. Things are tricky. Help. We're going to be in town, though, for the Glitch Glitch Festival, is that what it's called? Yeah, Yeah, Glitch Fest. Uh, Where I think, hilariously, much like BAFTA, we've been allowed onto a panel for some reason. Oh, boy. I I believe we're going with Hat Films. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, But we're going to hang around for a couple of days, or at least that's the plan now, and we're going to meet up with the Cultaholic lads and shoot some stuff. So look forward to that. And that is something that only you know... And if you heard it and you stuck around, you please, you please do comment below the secret phrase, which is Michael. A new one this time. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean, I've got a. Okay, yeah, <laughs> this, be a this good is a big one, one. I've got because re- last time you did this, <laughs> yeah, I was shit on the comments. It just yeah. didn't it, stop. It was the entire. Okay, today's special phrase is watermelons, my dear. 
Watermelons, my dear. With watermelons, my dear. Or what are melons, my dear? Watermelons, my dear. Watermelons. Do you want watermelons, my comma, my dear? Question mark. I'll leave it up to the audience. They okay. decide. Watermelons, my dear. Oh yes, thank you very much. Yeah, punctuation, my dear. Punctuation up to you. Yeah. Very generous. In fact, the most inventive we'll punctuation will win nothing. Nothing. So, if you are in, you are privy to the special bit of knowledge. You can comment that, and other people might comment, copy your comment, but they don't actually know. Yeah. They don't listen. They're not real they're fans. Know, you're, they're the, you're the special one. You're my favourite. I love Ass, you. Fucking assholes, all of them. So we've got to post some tat. Yes. We've got a worst games ever on Friday. Oh yeah, we've got a Skyrim Zoo. Boys. <laughs> <Wahoo>. <laughs> and we've also got a new show called Sunday Fun Day. Whoa. Whoa. Which is, you know, literally us just playing a game. We're so having fun. Just, you know, look It's the one thing that. the channel's missing, us just playing, playing a, game. a game. I thought you were going to say having fun. <laughs> <doing something. laughs> I never have fun. No. So. Anyway, thank you so much for listening, everybody. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Uh, take care of yourself. Yeah. And until next time, pip pip. Uh, Tally ho. Uh, Tweet at rules the rules boss. I want to see how, uh, how how much I can fuck up my animation on the screen. I'm just going to scream into the microphone. Okay. okay. Good. Any last words? Uh, thank I'm you. Taking everyone. my headphones off. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Thanks, Nico. <laughs>